name is William Sipko. Uh, we're from western Pennsylvania in the southwest corner of Pennsylvania. And you're looking at uh, my 1952 Munch Jet, which we restored uh, about three years ago. I've owned it for five years. Um, found it in pretty deplorable condition, but we did it ourselves. Um, Earl Munch was uh, better known as Madman Munch, who uh, made a couple cars. He bought the car from, uh, he bought the factory from Frank Curtis. In 1951, uh, he started building his own uh, cars. These are very special cars because they're the first unibody car, and he used uh, Lincoln or Cadillac drivetrain. Our particular car here has the uh, 52 Lincoln flathead, uh, hydromatic uh, automatic transmission with a convertible liftoff roof, and uh, they're hand-built bodies with a unibody. Earl Muntz was uh, ahead of his time a little bit. He was. Uh, uh, an entrepreneur with his television sets and he wanted to have his own uh, sports car company. Unfortunately they sold for about five thousand dollars each and after uh, about 1953 he uh, he ran out of money he quit selling them so he gave it up. Uh, they made about 198 production models and this is number 146 um, so uh, it's original red with the hydromatic automatic transmission Lincoln V8, uh, V8. It's 337 cubic inch, and its day it was a little bigger than the Ford Flathead, so it had a little more power. And uh, it's a very unique car. We have several in our collection, but we enjoy this a lot because it's a piece of automotive history. Uh, another car company that tried to make it that just couldn't survive. So uh, we, we really uh, appreciate coming here to Boca Raton, and we had a great day. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Silver.